better qualified than I am. Well, I'm not qualified, not for wages. So what will you do? What will I do? If I'm not pretending to work for you? Yeah. Back to my not pretend job with a benefit fraud. On top of the catering job I don't do for a hobby, so... <laughs> don't go fretting, Greg. I won't be stuck for ideas. Unless you meant, what will you do? We've got a verdict for accidental death, so... Count your blessings and keep your mouth shut. Beyond that, you don't need me. But all this stuff, it's still such a bloody mess. What's complicated about that? He's been fiddling, paying false invoices, into an account your company technically owns. And if you look at the main banking agreement, the two or three signatures, yours, his, or Linda's. He's dead, so you just need hers. Nothing complicated. You haven't lost anything. So, what, am I, am I saying I knew? Not straight away, no. Give it a fortnight and let Werner trip over it. Who? Your temp, Werner. Oh, yeah. Thanks for nothing. She's done about 300 years in inland revenue, so drop enough clues and she'll be on to it like a shot. Yeah, but it still leaves me knowing she opened an account with him to leave me, doesn't it? Look, well, you'll have to talk to Linda about your marriage, yeah. I can't help you with that. But I need to get ready for work. I'm catering tonight, so. Oh, right. Been bloody terrifying this, isn't it? We can't just walk away from it like this, can we? Can we? What is that about? No. I don't know. Nearly something else not to talk to Linda about. How many do you need? Nearly need. You think it was a move? No. Christ, Marcy, no. It was, oh, do bugger off. I, I know I'm... A bit flaky, but I'm not deluded. I'm old enough to be your bloody father. It was not a move, please. Special, wasn't it? I said special, didn't I? It scared you, didn't it? I mean, that's why you bolted. I didn't mean it like that. I meant... Oh, God, what? Uh... Yeah. Yeah. Shit. You know more about me than I've ever told anybody, and that's petrifying. I mean, what you've done for me is a debt I wouldn't even know how to start repaying. And it, it that, that, it, again, it is scary. I don't know anyone like you, and it, it's fine. But you see, you only don't like special because you don't think you are, and that's kind of why you are. Special, and it's my word anyway, I'm perfectly entitled to use it, so do bugger off. I'm sticking with it. Thank you. Hear about Marcia Burgess. Oh, well, I don't think she's in yet. What time should you? Um, do you know if Marcy's coming in or are we meeting her at the 21st? No, she's going straight to Hayfield Hall. Oh, right. I can get a message to her. She worked at my place in the 18th Rose Hill House. I thought I knew your face. Oh, it was a lovely party. She left with the rest of the crew, didn't she? I think so. Uh, is there a problem? Uh, no, no, but uh, somebody rang the next day. They'd left a watch behind. To be honest, I have no idea. Uh, do you remember Marcy leaving a watch behind at that thing we did? No, but she left her bag, didn't she? Yeah, she left her bag, so she had to schlep back for it. To the house? Mm. What time? Well, we'd reached Kenfield by then, so about two-ish. You all came back? Uh, no, no. Some of us, me included, had lifts waiting for us at the other end. But if there's a problem, I can get her to call you or... No, if she got her bag, then... Yes, she did. Uh, I've seen her with it since. That's absolutely fine. Thanks for your help.
Who? What? Didn't kill who? I don't know. You can say you didn't before you'd ask who. It wasn't an accident, was it? Linda, I don't know what you're talking about. She knows. She knows. Linda's just... She's... Sorry, not here now. Leave a message. You for your mobile was off. You phoned from the pub with a verdict. I mean, it's um, good that there was one. I mean, yeah, well, of course you get one. But I mean, it's really good that um, they can get on with the funeral now. Please, please. Yeah, um, well, I'm not sure, but I, I think I've um, been burgled. Yeah, um, Rose Hill House, off Standish Lane, yeah? No, I'm not touched anything. Right, yep, yeah, thank you. When I first set eyes on her, I knew I'd seen her before, and she knew I knew. So she brings it up first. I was catering at your house, and at first I'm going, caterer last week, temp this, but she said agency. So I go, fine, casual worker, fine. No, not fine, not bloody fine. Because she's going back to the house, because she's left her bag on her own. How? If that's not planned. She lives in Failston, but she's still seven miles away at six in the morning, witness for the police. How, if that's not planned? I, um, rang to say don't bother. Yeah, I know, sir, but we've got no option if it's the 999. Yeah, well, it was just my wife. Uh, she bombed in, bombed out again. I heard a bit of a noise, and uh, anyway, she's fine. It's fine. Mind if we come in? Come on. If he was 
picking her up in Broughton, delivering her back into Filson. Fine, even that would oh, even that would make half a pint of sense two hours earlier, but it wasn't. Linda. She's there the night Martin died. And ask the taxi driver. You go and ask him. Linda, we know about... She's there when the police get called. She's there in Greg's office within days of this. And where? Sitting at Martin's desk, for God's sake. And she's there when he's needing bloody Linda. Valium. Because I saw it. Her Valium, her prescription, Marcia Burgess. How? If she's only known him a week, what's all that? If she's only known him a week, she can't have. Well, anyway, thanks for coming. Appreciate the service. It's not kicking in, is it? Yeah, no, but uh, after a while, you just don't hear it, do you? Great. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get it. Let me get it. Yeah, Rose Hill House? It's me. Is she there? Uh, oh, not at the moment, no. Can I take a message? She don't have a work. She knows. I need to know what I'm saying. OK. Who's with you? Yeah, we'll do. Um, yeah, I can't really talk at the moment. I've got the police here. OK. Oh, God. OK. Right, that's it. Uh, yeah, thanks again. Yeah. Ring the police. I don't want the police. I want the police. No. Well, I'll go myself. Not till we've straightened you out. And you are not driving in this state. Look, it, it's been a massive day for all his friends. You more than most. <sighs> Who told you? Personally, I didn't believe you could be that stupid. It was Danny counting the times you and Martin avoided each other in a room. Then I watched you, like polarised magnets. So, good or bad, something had happened. Then I saw you on the M1, heading south in Martin's Vitesse, when you said you were off to an auction in Scotland. So you told Greg, thanks. Hey, me? No way. No, Greg is a mate. You don't do that to mates. Well, somebody told him Martin's death wasn't an accident. Linda... <laughs> You're welcome to stay, but if you're going to start that... She leaves her mates to go back for her bag. She's less than a mile from my house, four hours later. She's working for my husband within a week. He's the only one telling the police that Martin had been drinking, check. And she's telling the police absolutely nothing about ever having been near the house. Come on, Danny. Say that aloud. See what it feels like. Put like that, what else can it sound like? There must be some kind of explanation. And I asked her, straight. You didn't see her face. Scared? I'm bloody right, scared. I'm off to bed. <laughs> <laughs> 